Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to test an LCD TV screen. Um, but first of all, I just want to explain one of the major problems with screens is you don't know how good they are until the set's actually working. Now the problem is, you can spend a lot of money repairing a TV and then when the pitch comes on, the screen's either cracked or it's no good. So I'm going to show you a little tool I made um, over 30 years ago when we had CRT screens like this, cathode ray tube you had exactly the same problem if a TV was dead it wouldn't come on you didn't know how good the tube was until you actually got it running so I developed this tool which is a CRT emission tester um, it's completely handmade this plugs into the neck of the tube there um, switch the device on and on the meter on the front we can read out if there's any shorts on the cathode shorts on the grids we can read the emission we can check the tube make sure it's absolutely a good one before you repair the telly now I made this back in 1984 which was quite a long time ago times have moved on now we've got flat screens we've got exactly the same problem you don't want to spend a lot of money repairing something then find out the screen is no good so I've got a little, two little tools here I've developed that I'm going to show you in use right well here's the first tool I've developed um, it doesn't quite, everything doesn't function the meter's not working yet because it's not completely finished I've only built it um, a few weeks ago um, the first problem is if it's an LED screen that you want to test, it's no problem. You can light the screen with a variable power supply such as that. That goes up to um, 350 volts at 200 milliamps, so that will light any LED screen. If it's an older screen that uses cold cathode um, display tubes, you're going to need about 1000 volt to light up the tubes. So this is a high voltage generator. Um, with a safety interlock so you can't actually switch it on with one hand accidentally and if we take a look at the screen the screen looks absolutely fine we're just going to connect it to the tool um, here we go I've put some of the cold cathode tubes because there's so many inside the screen I've wired them all in parallel with two bits of wires I'm going to connect these two wires into this and we're going to light up the screen light up the back lights right so here we go we're connected up and it's plugged in the mains down there powered up um, like I say the meter doesn't work yet it's not quite finished that's the screen if you look at the screen um, it's a 26 inch cold cathode lit backlit fluorescent screen it looks absolutely fine um, I'm going to push this button here push that one up press that to start and if you look at the screen that's the screen powered up and it's actually cracked um, if you press this button here and press that to stop you see the screen in the background you just press the stop button and it's gone off and as you can see from the outside the screen looks absolutely fine until you power it up and then it's cracked so that's the first test you need to light up the screen um, to make sure there's no cracks in it now the second test we've got to uh, let's turn that off in the second test we're going to connect a, a little device I've made to the LVDS board TCOM board timing control here and we're going to power up the timing control with a test pattern signal so what we need to do first is light up the screen and then connect the test signal to the TCOM um, I think for this we're going to move into another room so I can put the TV in front of a mirror so you can see both of the, both sides of the TV while we're doing it at the same time. Right guys, um, I've just um, we've moved to another room now because I haven't got in the main workshop a mirror that's big enough to demonstrate this next test. And here we have I'll just show you the front, well I'll just show you the mirror, that's in the mirror look. Um, it's a 32 inch screen, just rest it there so we don't break it. Um, the 32 inch screen, it's made by Vastel, 
the Vastel screen number I've wrote down there is a VE S31 5WNDL stroke 01 now it's come out of a 32 inch Toshiba 32D 1333DB um, also I've marked the backlight needs approximately 82 volts to light it because it's LED um, it's not cold cathode fluorescent like the last demonstration and we need 12 volts on the TCOM um, so we don't need the high voltage generator I've made anymore that can go out the way um, and I'm going to show you here not only are we going to light up the screen but we're also going to put a picture on it with a pattern generator I've made um, now the first thing you need to realise about Vestel is the wires to the screen. If you take a look at them carefully, the top one on the LEDs in the screen is actually positive and the bottom one is negative. Now if you look at the wires, Vestel in the Wisdom have used the black wire for positive and the red wire for the negative. So that's the first thing you've got to make sure before you attempt to power this up you've got to make sure you get the polarity right um, now that's a picture of the T-Con I've got two wires here and we're going to power up the screen um, with this um, I've got two power supplies you'll see in a minute why I'm going to power up the screen light the LEDs with this um, high voltage power supply first so what we need to do is the one which is marked positive is actually the negative so clip that onto there and the one marked negative is actually the positive I don't know why Vestel have done that but there you go right so let's get some power on at the moment we're on no volts um, right that's showing just over 50 volts we go right so that's the screen lit up um, you can tell it's lit up by the backlight see the hole through there um, we're running about 100 milliamps now at about 70 volts according to that if I um, turn the voltage up and down you can see the current rising and falling that's 200 milliamp and you'll also see the backlight closing on there the backlight's going brighter and dimmer it's actually not that easy to see but there you go it's going brighter and dimmer so we're going to run the screen about 100 milliamps it's about 70 volts now the other power supply um, I've set that 12 volt we're going to power up the um, signal generator I've made that plugs into here in the LVDS I'm going to try and hold the camera and do this at the same time uh, Right, that's my signal generator. I've got two wires here for the power. Um, you'll notice I've fitted it with two LVDS leads to do the most common sets. Um, obviously, this scope to add lots more different leads on for different makes and models of screen. But um, we'll just go with this for now. So that's the LVDS on the signal generator need to plug that into there and get it the right way around of course that's it just move all them out of the way so we don't make any shorts and uh, right I've got two wires on here input for signal generator got positive negative so we're going to take them from this 12 volt power supply if you look at that you'll see the screen still powered and lit up um, positive now we've got to get this right these are the right way around this time so negative on there on there right 
sorry about that just have to stop the camera a minute because we had a bad connection on one of the leads um, as you can see the crocodile clips all rusted up so it doesn't make a very good connection right so we've got the negative on I'm going to put the positive on now and the um, TCOM board or LVDS board that's drawing 240 milliamps um, that's the power that's the signal generator I've made which is plugged into the TCOM board or LVDS board I'll move the camera back and uh, we should be generating the test pattern now there we go so that is a test you can do I'll just try and very very carefully turn this around that is a test you can do to make this make sure the screens are alright before you actually um, repair a TV because what you don't want to do is spend a load of money repairing a TV and then uh, you get it on you find the screens cracked all these lines on it or it's no good so you can see that it's cycling through the patterns let's turn that around again and um, move it over there a tiny bit more and get a picture of everything in one go so this here is the power supply powering the T-Con and the uh, signal generator flick it off the screen's gone off flick it back on again and there we go the signal test pattern's come back on and that's a nice simple test you can do um, just make one of them make some different leads up fits lots of different screens um, but like I say the main thing is you've got to make sure with Vestels you actually get the pol polarity of the screen right before you try and power it so you don't burn out the LEDs there we go and that is the uh, if I move back there you can see it in the mirror oh, I'll very carefully turn this around Yeah, so there you go. That's how we test um, either a coal cathode fluorescent backlit or an LED screen with uh, just a few simple tools. You don't need the rest of the set. You don't need the, the power supply. You don't need the main board. Just a few little things you build yourself and away you go. So we ditch the power now, you'll see the screen goes off, it'll take a few minutes to fade. Um, and there we go. Well, thanks for watching and um, you know maybe get a bit more time, make a few more videos, keep your eye on my channel. Thanks for watching guys, bye!